just, uh, I don't know, a few yards from you. And I don't know if, it, if in your live shot you could hear our lovely friend Mike with Mav Services calling people's names as they get in. Shane, do you mind just panning over to Mike really quick? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Mike is our hype man and we love it. Piggybacking off of what Jay and Bree said, the energy is awesome here being back in person. This is our 15th year with Seven Cares Idaho Shares and every year our community shows up and they show support for their neighbors in need. Right now behind us we've got people driving in right behind the Eagle PT bus. Hey guys! Thank you, they're bringing food and money donations. We've got pallets that we are loading up, people bringing coffee, oatmeal, cup of noodles. These boxes are being filled up with cans and dried goods, and then they are being loaded up into these trucks behind me for the Salvation Army, the Idaho Food Bank, as well as the Boise Rescue Mission. And you know, I noticed earlier this, this handsome man hanging around this uh, box of cereal, scoping out what he was planning on doing. And if he looks familiar, this is Boise Police Chief Ron Weiniger. Ron, we love to see you here. Welcome. It's my pleasure. It's great to be. I was originally called for the noise disturbance uh, with the gentleman over here, but <laughs> no. Obviously creating a scene as everybody yes. comes in, yes. and, and that's great. Uh, but no, I thought I'd poke through and see um, yeah. if my favorite cereal was here. Yeah. Sure enough, it is. And some gluten-free pasta. There you go. That's, that's what I need. It is nutritious. No, I mean, it's awesome. People have uh, Eagle PT, for example, unloading, honestly, probably hundreds of pounds of food. We have got, hard to measure, you're in law enforcement, I'm in journalism, but I would say thousands of pounds. There are definitely thousands of pounds. We unloaded a pickup load of onions earlier and I see they've already got it wrapped and on the truck. So. And we still smell it. And we still smell it, <laughs> but uh, brings back good memories for me. And this is, it's just an awesome event to see the community come together, come out and donate and work together and help just to address the needs of people who might not be as fortunate as we are. You have served in the city of Boise for a really long time and you've seen this place grow and change. To continue to see a tight-knit effort like this, what is it like as we continue to become a bigger city? Well, certainly as the city grows and we deal with crime issues and all of those things, it might be easy to think we're going down the tubes or you know things are getting bad, but they're really not. Our crime rates are still low. And more importantly, when you have an event like this where mm -hmm. people come together and people show their heart, you know that this is Boise, this is a good place to be, and it's still a great community and we love it and we support it and that's why all of these folks are showing up. It is one of the best cities to live in in America. I know we're biased, but I mean the mountains and the four seasons and the people. I have uh, had the opportunity to travel quite a few places and I've never found any place that I would rather be than right here in Boise, Idaho. We are happy to have you. Of course, people able to come down and meet their police chief. We've got the Boise State cheerleaders here, some Boise high folks. We've got lots of companies that care that have come through, the Idaho Potato Commission, a couple other mascots from our local teams. So please come down. We're going to be here till noon. Our friends at Twin Falls are also going to be there until noon as well. Good evening or good morning, you guys.